Ashton Sars with DroidMotorX.com and today I'm going to be showing you guys the latest version of Jelly Beans, build number 9 by Beanstown106. Of course I always tend to come back to this ROM. It is one of the most stable, it is one of the most functional, especially with a phone like the Galaxy Note 2. Uh, we've got our S Pen and we also have things like multi-window, pop-up browser, and for someone like myself, I really like the one-handed operation. In fact, that's my favorite part of this ROM is that it includes a lot of the TouchWiz functionality. Now, some of the former I don't really use so much, like the S Pen functionality, the multi-window, and the pop-up browser, but I have to have the one-handed operation, which we get from the Samsung keyboard. Uh, so I do really like that about this ROM is that it doesn't take away the functionality that's necessary, but it does de-bloat it and takes out all the all the crud. So as you guys can see, I'm running a custom Apex launcher here. Um, you don't have to run the TouchWiz launcher if you don't want to. That's another great thing about the Jelly Beans builds is that it, it is installed with the Aroma installer, so you can kind of pick and choose how you want your ROM to be set up. It's totally customizable. Uh, you guys can see I've got the center clock. I've got battery percentage mod. Um, I have recent apps. That's one thing that's been included in Jelly Bean build number nine. If I press and hold the home button, the recent apps come up here and we can scroll through those just like HTC we can swipe those away it's a really neat feature and then also if we go to the lock screen one of my other favorite features of this ROM is the torch from the lock screen so you just hold the uh, home button there and you get the torch from the lock screen once you unlock it goes away so that's a really cool feature there I'm trying to think if there's anything else that's been really updated here in build number nine He's done some more framework theming so it looks and feels even more like Jelly Bean. So even though we have our TouchWiz functionality, it looks nothing like TouchWiz. So all the blues and oranges that you get from TouchWiz, you don't get here as you guys can see. Uh, my pull down bar is blacked out and my toggles up top there, uh, which is another modification that you can choose. Uh, those are all themed Jelly Bean as well. If we go into our app drawer, you can see that the uh, Jelly Bean is included there as well. Uh, of course this ROM is very fast, very fluid, incredibly stable. Everything works, camera, Bluetooth. That's another benefit of having a ROM that's built on TouchWiz. Uh, whereas a ROM that's built on AOS, AOSP is going to have little quirks and bugs. A ROM that's built on TouchWiz will not have any of those bugs because it is built from Samsung Source. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and do an install of this ROM. So you guys can see all the features that you can customize in Aroma Installer. So we'll just restart Recovery. Okay, so this can be installed from either Team Win Recovery Project or Clockwork Mod Recovery. The only reason I'm running Clockwork Mod Recovery right now is because that's required for CM10, which I was running a few weeks ago, had to have it. I haven't switched back. Uh, but anyways, now that I've explained that, to install, you're just going to wipe data. Factory Reset, select Yes. Wipe Cache, Yes and go to advanced wipe Dalvik cache go back if you're coming from a previous build you do not have to do that I always do it anyways just saves you a lot of headache in the long run we'll go ahead and install it from SD card choose it from SD card uh, we'll go to our download folder and we're looking for the note 2 jelly beans build number 9 we'll select that and select yes that's gonna launch the aroma installer this is where we get to pick and choose all of our custom settings which is a very nice feature Okay, so we're greeted with this uh, Build 9 screen here. We'll go ahead and select Next. And then we have a change log. It's a full change log. I missed the build here. I was on 7 before, and now I'm on 9. But there's also plenty of changes that happen in Build 8. So you can read through these to get yourself up to speed. And we'll go ahead and select Next. Uh, and then this is where our modifications begin. My favorite part of the ROM, I get to kind of pick and choose the way I want to set up my ROM. So I went with Sense Recents, that's where I pressed and held the home button and that uh, Recents menu populated where you can swipe away uh, your recent screens. You'll want to go with the For Recent app, uh, the Sense For Recents app. Clock position, I go with Center. AM, PM, I go with uh, Removed. Battery style, I normally go with the blue with Percentage. Color of toggles, I go with Cayenne. Number of toggles shown, I go with as many possible, seven. Show text labels on toggles, I select no. Torch on lock screen, I do like that, so I go ahead and select that one. And let's see, I'll go with the AOSP email. 
I'll go with the Apex Launcher. That's my favorite, but you guys see that you have several to choose from there, including TouchWiz. So you can have it as much like TouchWiz as you want or as much like AOSP as you want, which is my favorite part. I will go with the both file managers, AOSP, inverted AOSP, MMS. We'll go with both keyboards because I like that one-handed functionality in the TouchWiz keyboard. But I also like the gestures from Android 4.2. So sometimes I go back and forth there. You can do that with this ROM. We'll go with CM10's Apollo Music application. Uh, UI sounds, I prefer the AOSP. And I'll keep all of the G apps that it comes with, including the 720p YouTube with screen off playback. That's really cool because if you're watching music videos, you can turn your phone screen off, save on tons of battery, and uh, continue to listen to your uh, to your music videos or like I like to listen to the Droid Life podcast. They upload those to YouTube. You can actually listen to that, turn your screen off, so that's a really neat feature there. Um, as far as the Samsung apps, we'll take away the Paper Artist. We'll keep S Note. S Photo Editor and S Calendar. We'll eliminate the Verizon apps and I'll take away the ad blocking and we'll go next. And then I'm going to stick with Bean Stock ROM. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm going to stick with Bean Stock Kernel because it includes support for his custom boot animation and I'm not one that just has to overclock. If you have to overclock, uh, Perseus's kernel is an excellent kernel. You can choose that there as well. And then it will do its thing and flash. So we'll go ahead and let this flash quickly. It shouldn't take any more than five minutes. Okay, when it's finished, it'll let you know that it has finished. It also suggests uh, considering donating to Beanstown 106. I would also consider donating to him. He's pumping out some of the most stable ROMs that are out there for the Galaxy Note 2 and also the Galaxy S3. So if you have that phone, you should probably check out Bean's build number. I think he's up to at least 12 on the Galaxy S3. Awesome ROMs on the Galaxy S3 as well. So we'll go ahead and select next. And we'll finish. And then we can just reboot the phone. So we'll go back and reboot system now. I'll leave you guys with the boot animation. This has been Jelly Beans build number 9 for the Galaxy Note 2. Big shout outs to Beanstown106 for this awesome ROM. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com where I'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. If you like this video, give it a big, huge thumbs up. You guys don't even know how much that helps me. Also, be sure to subscribe to this channel for more coverage on the Galaxy Note 2, Galaxy S3, Galaxy Nexus, Galaxy Nexus 7, Nexus 10, Droid DNA, and uh, all other phones that are coming out soon. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.